All right, five fans, we have here the WBO, WBC, new world champion of the world. Sebas, how good does it feel to hear that? Feels good, feels good. It's a dream come true, you know. My sister became a champion six months ago, so it was now it was my time to catch up. Yeah. And you talked to Jim Lantley about that, right? You know, you're obviously very proud with your sister, but you know, that desire to be a world champion was there. How was there that extra drive in, in, in Mar on March 30th? To, was that an extra drive there to become a world champion? Of course, of course. You know, the fact that she became world champion for me, it's uh, it's a little competitive there, but you know, uh, it's every boxer's dream. Every boxer steps in the ring, they want to become a champion, whether it's amateur or professional, but they want to become a champion of something. And honestly, that's with any career. You want to be the best. And this right here is the best. So, you know, now I'm at the top and I want everybody. And of course, you took that fight eight, nine days notice. You know, it's it's a little unheard of sometimes. It's a, it was against an undefeated fighter in Tinzu, one of the boogeymans at 154. Um, how, was, how, how was your outlook looking in, you know, when you got that call? We were doing the fence. We were doing the fence on our property. Uh, my father was talking on the phone with our promoter, Sam Smithwitz, and uh, they gave us, they said, hey, the WBO and the WBC is on the line if you want to. Well, his, Keith Thurman got injured with an uh, arm injury, bicep, I think, and uh, hopefully he recovers well. But uh, with his mistake, it became an opportunity. So we said yes right away, and we took us like two seconds, and uh, the rest is history. And of course, you knew that this fight was going to be tough from the get-go. You know, people did know about your advantages and height and reach, but everybody also knew that Tim Zhu was no pushover, undefeated, had a legendary father, so you know he was a tough cookie. Yeah. You know, kid, walk me through that fight. Um, how was that? You know, we all saw it on TV. How was that fight? Through? You know, with all those stuff, um, you know, it's boxing. This is the top level. We're in the major leagues of boxing right now. This is the major league. You know, uh, the best of the best. I know what I was going up against, but I knew that I could win too. I trained just as hard, even harder. But uh, and I'm from Coachella, you know, so I represent good. And uh, you know, this the opportunity knocked on my door. I had to answer. Yeah. And everybody, you know, on your team probably knew that the jab was one of, was going to be one of the biggest weapons. When that blood started gushing down, it seemed like you targeted that 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 side uh, with your jab more and more. Uh, when did you knew that that was the weapon to use? since the camp you know I had a whole camp of a year since my last fight uh, the fight before that I came off a loss of course but uh, you know we went back to the lab and we worked on it we worked we worked worked on using our distance a little bit more with that last fight I was actually using my jab too but you know uh, it was this fight went the whole 12 rounds so I got to display a lot of my boxing skills yeah. like you said you were able to display another feature another arsenal of your game how good was it to show people you know I can box too this is kind of important, you know, because the people like to misjudge me. Yes, I can find inside, and I find very good inside, but that's not the only weapon I have, you know. I got plenty of weapons. I've been in the sport for a long time. Uh, you can see with my sister, her sister, my sister's boxing is excellent, you know, but she has a big amateur background, but so do I, you know, and that, that Saturday I had to show everybody. And there was a lot of good sportsmanship shown between you and Tim Zhu. You know, um, it seemed like you guys gained much more respect, uh, you know, during that 12-round war. What were some things that were said between you guys? It's, it was a pleasure. Pleasure to share the ring with him. You know, he's a world champion. Now I'm a world champion. Uh, we're blood brothers. We're blood brothers now. So, you know, it's uh, we trade blood with each other. And that's just, a, you know, we find the ring. We find the ring so much. The second we step out, we don't want to throw punches. We don't want to yell at each other. You know, that's how I think boxing should be. You know, boxing used to be called the gentleman sport. Let's turn it back to that. There was a lot of people that thought that he was going to go undefeated. How proud are you to say that, hey, I took his own way? There's nothing new to me. I fought plenty of undefeated fighters. I fought Olympians. I fought uh, Olympic alternatives. Uh, you know, we're, this is just another day in the, the, the job. And of course, your promoter, Samson, did say, you know, he was, he hinted that it's time to, to do a business move and try to capitalize. Um, having that said, you know, does Tim Zhu get a rematch down the line? We'll see. We'll see. I like it. I like it. Um, people here in America, you know, I have the titles, but uh, we'll see what happens. You know, we have big names like Spence. We have big names like Crawford. Those are one of, those are two of the best fighters in the world, you know. The only one missing from that is Canelo, but he's at 168, <laughs> so we're not even worried about that. But, you know, the opportunity is big for us. Obviously, you're a big boy, big guy. I'm sure you could grow to 168 <laughs> and those down the line. Is that a fight that interests you one day? I'm pretty sure it interests everybody, you know. He's a... Uh, 
the cash cow in boxing. He is the number one. You know, he might not be pound for pound, but he is still boxing. His name is boxing right now. So, of course, the fight with Canelo will be great.